Okay, we're live, we're live. One moment, please. Oh. Can't see. Well, I don't have my regalia on, but that's because I'm in a different room today. Alright, let's see. Checking levels, audio is fine. Let's see, checking on the other side. Okay, it's fine. Just adjusting something real quick. Thank you. Come on, come on. There we go. All right. Ooh, hope you heard that. That was a crack in my back because I'm old. Ugh. Oh no. Ah, alrighty. And no dropped frames. Good. Okay. Connection is fine. Thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Sorry, I just absolutely love the song. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome to Manga Drawing Lessons. My name is Paolo Jossa, and I am here in... Well, I'm still in the Govins branch, but it's in the Govins branch, actually. We're in a staff room right now because air conditioning is not working in the auditorium quite yet, and I don't want to roast for, like, a couple of hours while I draw. That's not a good feeling. Anyway, we're here today because we are doing another installment of the Manga Drawing Lessons Weekly. Learn how to draw anime and manga characters step-by-step -step in weekly sessions, build up a binder of your best drawings, and become a real artist. Supplies for the program will be available at the Govins Branch, uh, first come first serve basis while supplies last. Um, Govins Branch is located in 5714 Bologna Avenue, Baltimore, Maryland. Um, ask for me. Uh, specifically, um, like the YA librarian, and we'll be able to um, hand you off like um, a sketchbook, um, pencil case full of good stuff, um, good stuff, pencils. Um, actually, got a thing of mechanical pencils for those really, really like thin lines that you don't want any shading on. I highly recommend them for like cleaner lines. But anyway, more to the point. We are continuing, um, oh, um, also this is like the, uh, we're continuing our quest to oh, learn how to draw anime and manga characters and learn how to draw in general. Um, for now, um, just to give you guys a quick refresher, the manga drawing lessons, uh, weekly lesson archive is going to be here and I am, I am, hmm. Looking at the camera right now, um, they're going to be here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's going to be here in the Google Drive, um, as you can see here for like lessons one to nine. We'll go back to these um, book things after a while, um, after we go through like the way I do like a project-based illustration. Uh, illustration. Uh, I'm gonna turn down like the um, music in my ears because like I do love the song but I am getting very distracted anyway <clears throat> anyway so um I believe last time we started on like how I would develop a project um, and how I would go about like essentially like creating a mood board of some sort. Um, so the project I was hoping to do, um, since it's May and I want to lead it up into June, which is Pride Month, would be 30, uh, 30 days, or 30 days of Pride, so to speak. Um, so, um, as you can see, I've like filled out the list a little bit here with um, more character concepts, drawings, um, other fan art of the character that I wanted to um, express using like this version of the style guide. 
essentially what they did is each day I'd uh, each day I'd like post a character that is canonically so canonically queer um, or in the LGBT uh, under the LGBT umbrella um, and I've got a good number of folks already so essentially um, oh, um, I just wanted to also I just added this uh, the intersex flag there because to help me remember what it looks like a and to make sure I got the colors right B that's gonna be important next Oh, ah. Ooh. Ooh, big yawn. Slurp stream. Mm. I highly recommend to always be hydrated. Um, it's called. <laughs> Let's see. So, essentially, um, I wanted to draw, like, we're gonna take one of these characters and we're just gonna like try to kind of do a mock-up of what each day would look like and honestly um Stevani is a single character relatively easy to draw because um the cartoon is already pretty stylized it's not like realistic like say um these concepts of Yash um Beauregard uh, Bo from Critical Role um so it's relatively, I'd like to say it's relatively easy to convert into the style that I was going for. And like, this is my first foray into it since, um, since, well, I've done chibis before. They're fun. Um, I just have an issue with, um, what's called getting proportions to look right, especially because they're already so super deformed, which is what they're actually called, uh, SD characters. <laughs> super deformed. Or something, or chibi characters uh, in like anime and manga, um, and I just want to see if I can do it, so to speak, uh, or be able to translate like the character as they are into the style that I'm experimenting with. Um, and so, my first steps in terms of realizing this project was like have a good baseline of what the style is going to look like. Um, and like others, and like others like it, specifically in terms of um, lineless, like um, sort of low shaded characters. It, no, that's not true. They have like shadows and stuff. That's that's not entirely true. Um, it trans translates Stevani from like the original style of the uh, cartoon, which is a big favorite of mine, by the way into um into the chippy uh, into the chippy style now um is this that's a machida well done yeah that's her yeah yeah yamashida i'm just gonna put it to random one so i don't it's still him <laughs> There we go. That was kind of hilarious. I literally um, went through the, um, I literally went through like the BGM video and just click randomly. And it was also Tatsuro Yamashita. He is just that popular of a, uh, what's it called? City pop artist. That's hilarious. Uh, anyway, more to the point. If you want to dance tonight, if you wanna do it, baby, tonight. Okay, so back to the thing. Um, oh no, there we go. Oh, Okarina san, onegashimasu. Wake up, buddy. There we go. Sorry, my uh, little controller thing that I use is like a um. What's it called? Um, a controller for a CSP. It's kind of, uh, kind of went to sleep for a second. All right. So as you can see here, um, like with any good artist, I also do a lot of warm-ups. Uh, I honestly should have had more. How it's called? Should have uh, did a couple more. I wanted to do this properly and correctly, but 
It's just to make sure that my uh, hands and arms uh, and eyes are like use. Oops, uh, mm. oh, I wanted that. Wrong button. tired. That's why, this is why I like, I think after lunch, what I like to do up in the library when I'm not doing this program is to, um, hold on, I'm just going to readjust myself here because like it's under a desk, but also there's a box under here. So it's not like, I can't really fit my um, legs underneath here properly that really squeezing in. I don't like that. I like to be relaxed while I'm drawing. Okay. Um, what I like to do directly after lunch is to be able to like oh, oh, walk around a little bit. So that would mean I would be uh, shoot, what it's called? Uh, I'd be shelving. There we go. God, I could not get the word shelving. Okay, so um, so this is all practice. Oh, which is nice. Um. I am going to. All right, I'm gonna move. Um... Ah, da, da. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna move, like, this slide here on the other screen. You, you can't see it because um, I'm just looking at two different screens here right now. Um, I'm just as a reference to how I'm going to do this uh, because we've already. If we look at the recent things, oh. uh, I feel uh, we kind of wanted to, like, admittedly, this is absolutely something I want to do for Instagram um, in terms of like a project. Um, I wanted to be able to um, use the frame as a frame, and so I kind of want them to be um, the character, so to speak, to be. Uh, interacting with the frame in some way, kind of give it that sense of out, outness. Oh. I just realized that making a uh, basically LGBT inter Inktober thing, and I want the character to come out of the frame. <laughs> I swear I didn't do that on purpose. Uh, <laughs> anyway, no. Um, so this is what the I can't see. The, the, it's a me. Ah, there it is. Um, okay. Um, so I kind of wanted um, the character to be interacting with the frame in some way. So it'd be kind of like out, out, out. Um, a sense of like freedom, uh, depth. There it is. That's the term. I wanted to give it some sense of depth. Um, that'd be like fun. That'd be kind of fun. Um, which is similar to something I did at Inktober um, in 2021. Uh, good God, that was... Oh, that was rough. I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, because I was... Um, I was essentially doing um, a trip with my parents up into, into Boston. Uh, hold on. To the sweet memories. And to the sweet memories. Sweet memories. Alright, this color is great, but I kind of want a little color. And a little lighter. Light. There we go. There we go. All right. So, um, you know, switch my. Tick, 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 tick. There it is. Uh, I'm gonna. The view for my end is gonna disappear for a while. All right. So essentially, um, all right, so essentially, I've got the um, the reference pictures of Stevani 
in her, sorry, their, um, um, in their, like, um, roller skate rink outfit, which is a, extremely cool. Very good. Um, very, very pink, which I absolutely adore. Um, I think right now, what I want to do today is essentially try to, uh, mimic that chibi style. And I'm looking at it right now, and it's characterized by, um, the character being proportional, but also only being three, three heads high? So, if we're gonna do character about this head high, three heads high, and, like, Stevani themselves, themselves are, um, relatively tall for a character so we're going to have to set it up so that um we're going to have to set it up that uh, um we're gonna have to set it up so that the um chibi is a little bit like the height is reflective of that or the proportions are reflected of that um Uh, the shaped like a friend bean, uh, uh, Steven Universe head. <laughs> That's always fun. So their body. Essentially, this is just going to be their chest. Um, because the torso is just going to be here, and the legs all the way there. That's about this way. Right, hold on, I'm gonna I'm just gonna copy and paste. Looks like I'm going to have to. Uh, one moment. There it is. There it is. Gigantic. Why is it so big? Why are you so be? Then I put control as. Hold on, now I need to figure out what Joy to Key did. Oh. to do that now. Nice. Okay. Ah. My dear Savani, you are too chunky. Right. 
Okay, so we've got that. Okay, we've got that, and we're gonna go over to. We're gonna try to find the uh, Pokachi. Um, Pokachi Chibis again. One moment. That's a lot of Yuri. There it is. Okay. <sighs> that took a lot longer than I should have. Yeah, bye. Okay, there we go. Now we've got our two. That took a lot longer than I should have. We've got our two reference images just on the very big screen. <laughs> Another zero. Yes, a hero. Mm. Try this again. I didn't. I don't feel like I got the spirit of this pose correctly. Okay, so hmm, so gonna have to make it a little. hair is in the background. Goofy jacket. Very cute. Short because the uh, what's called character is so because the chibi style is much much shorter, like 
everything is suddenly very short, the sleeves are very big, that sort of thing. And that's something you have to keep in mind when drawing. Make sure the proportions are correct. I don't like the shoes. I don't like the legs that I'm doing here. There we go. Never be afraid to erase your work. You can always do it better next time. Tiny, tiny wheels. <laughs> uh, oop. That's too big of an eraser. Just want to hear the face a little bit. Uh, believe me, I'm gonna clean this up a lot. Uh, this is just the initial sketch. So notice that even in this exaggerated pose here, we managed to squish it down a lot more uh, to configure with this chibi style. Um, and we can see that um, even then, it's still like relatively, it's called relatively proportional. Um, uh, this is proportion is really useful, like. The more you understand, like the relationships between the length of your um, length of your body versus how many heads high, that sort of thing, the like not absolute relationship, like it's the relationships are absolute, but kind of like a rough guide of how big, how tall, how things are in proportion to other things. It's really easy to just say, okay, I need to make this taller and bigger. So if I wanted to make her look bigger, sorry, look them. I do apologize for constantly misgendering Stevani. I, like, genuinely apologize. Um, um, it doesn't help that I'm also looking at, um, let's call Kara and, let's say Ahsoka. No, Asami. Kara, Asami, and then the other team, other thing. But, um, essentially, with that in mind, like, when you see those relationships, it's easier to kind of push and pull like the sizes of your characters um and like be more aware of like their proportions and be able to you know do the super chibi style without it looking um like weird like if you notice that um oh, hold on. i'm gonna very quickly check to make sure i'm still running yes i'm still here that's good Hello, kids from Discord. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Back here to the... Okay. Um, notice that even in the... Um, what's it called? Chibi sketches. Uh, even the chibi sketches, like, the arm is proportional to the rest of the body, even though, like, the body is very greatly... Like, real people don't have heads that big in proportion to their body. More often than not, it's like much, much smaller, but because this is a stylized, hyper stylized chibi style, it kind of lends itself to that. And hopefully I'll be able to, uh, what's it called, translate um, characters, uh, because this is basically easy, uh, easy mode at this point, because Stevani is already a cartoon, and we're essentially transferring cartoon style into uh, chibi cartoon style, as opposed to... I think, do I have, I was about to say, do I have a real person here? Uh, I don't believe so. I think it's all cartoon and video game characters that aren't, well, that are human, but not like human human, if you, if that makes sense. Da, 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 da. 
Honestly, I think the realest person, um, the realest quote unquote person or people would be like, um, in terms of style, would be like maybe a Tracer. Because I know, um, um, I know that they're relatively realistic in how they're rendered in Overwatch and Overwatch 2. Um, <laughs> not Jimmy san Okay, no. Um, oh, I cannot wait until I do, or rather, make a chibi version of Avatar Kyoshi. That will be amazing and hilarious. Because she's such a strong, chunky, muscled character, and, also, and suddenly they're being into this chibi style is very funny um oh maybe gibraltar that might be a challenge because uh gibraltar um one of like uh, apex legends character big samoan samoan i want to say samoan guy um big samoan guy who's gay and it's like uh, his his armor and all his other like shields and stuff because he's a shield character. Of course, he's a shield character. Uh, um, is like super detailed and to squish all of those details, but also deform them and choose which details uh, to keep and not keep is going to be the fun part of doing lineless chibi style. Not to mention like the coloring, shading, and I don't know if you notice here. Um, there's a slight um, bloom and gradient of how, uh, what's it called, these two are rendered. It is... I just realized something. Uh, yeah, no, r right in the middle where their cheeks touch is basically like a blur instead of like a line, which is very, very cute. I, I didn't even notice that. That's adorable. Uh, anyway. Da 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 da! Uh, I wonder if I should keep their noses. Let's see the other ones. The other ones do not have noses. Um, the realistically, the kind of like, the kind of more realistic, more realistic and less chibi versions of this artist's lineless style does have like the like shadow for nose, but otherwise the noses here are very much, very much anime noses. Which are, which is to say, non-existent or like little dots to indicate where the face is pointing. Although that said, and that said, um, oh man, it's Devani though. I kind of want to keep their nose, because their chunky nose is kind of indicative of well, part of them culturally. Here, I'll just do that instead. Yeah, nose with no nostrils. Oh man, I'm never going to unsee this. Um, <laughs> if you notice, Devani has two nostrils on the side of, her, of their face, uh, or at least what it looks like. Technically, it's just like the ridge of the nose that's right here and then the hole. Um, but it kind of looks like there are two holes on this one side. And I'm like, ugh, ugh, do not like. That's not cool. Okay, it looks like we've kind of gotten the gist here. Uh, the next bit is essentially how to do it linelessly. Um, so there's this great tutorial by Twitter user Vambyte, spelled V-A-M-B, V-A-M-P-B-Y-T-E, where essentially the, um, how they do it, how, oh, you know what, here, let me just pull it up, because I think I do have it up. I do have it up. 
これはどこだこれはどこだこの Art stuff. There we go. Yeah, no, it's a vampire tutorial master bust. Ah, there it is. Oh, stand still.、Uh, come to me. Okay, uh. I am going to put it. Oh, my Google Drive is right here. I don't know why. Yes. Um, there, I'm going to put it up here so we can study it together. Oh, yes. Okay. Da, 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 da. Oh my goodness. My tummy is giving me the rumblies. Alright, so、um, this is their Patreon, essentially their guide to Linus art that I've used before, weirdly enough. Well, not weirdly enough,、um, appropriately enough.、Um, when I was trying to create the Linus art version of.、Um, what was her name? Um, two characters, one,、uh, two female furry characters. One was the、um, Crash Bandicoot 4, like Ta Tana, Tanya,、uh, Tan Tani. And the other one was the yet then unnamed、um, character in the Ratchet and Clank series of the, like, the essentially girl version of Ra、uh, Ratchet. All right, so essentially, the idea here is to、um, start with a sketch and to fill up that sketch、um, with a like a solid、uh, solid color. And with the alpha layer locked,、um, basically、um, render. <laughs> like, do the very slow process of rendering it、uh, with the colors on top of it, with the various layers, etc., etc., and to render the edges、uh, around, around it a little bit more. Um, when I do this, I really like having like, a paintbrush with, that's like, not very smooth. So that, I don't know if you can see this, but there's this really gorgeous.、Uh, I know it's lineless, but there's this like, gorgeous kind of feathered effect on the edges、um, that kind of gives it the sense of like, ooh, kind of rough and like, tactile edge, as opposed to the very, very clean G,、uh, G pen.、Um, but that's. What's it called? But that's、uh, that's just me. So、uh, essentially, once you do, once you render that shape out, you just add details with various different brushes, using pencils and all that,、uh, to kind of make it more three、uh, three dimensional.、Um, Oh, what's it called? For example, like in between the legs there to add more shadow, you would add, like, oh, what's it called? You would like section it off using the lasso tool. Um, and then just、um, go at it with like a brush to indicate,、um, like a texture brush to indicate shadow. It's really, really nice. There we go. <laughs> Unless, do I have time to do this? It's already 11. Oh dear. Over. Okay. Alright, so essentially the next bit is going to like have to clean up the sketch, which I'm going to have to do here. So, this is just a、uh, trial, by the way. This is not like the final、um, pose that I want Stevani in. I kind of want to be able to、um, create an original pose with, their, with this character.
that up. Did I hit the other mountain? Ah, uh, ha ha. Yada. Because uh, Steven Universe and Steven Universe Future, one of the like funny things was like, oh, Nick acquired for uh, Zach Howison. To, oh, we're gonna open up the tabs again. Did I use this as the. Ara, ara, ara. There we go. Did I. No, no. Yeah, I did do select tool. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to. Cut and paste this particular um, drawing, or rather, this particular set of drawings. I'm gonna unselect that. Um, go back to pens. Hold up. There we go. And I am going to. Uh, take this layer, um, oh, 415, oh dear. Uh, we're gonna copy it. We're gonna go to the 30 Days of Pride uh, thing. And we're going to Control V, paste it. Um, let's see, let's make... This is not under, gonna go under Lose and Amity because that's that's not them. Um, let's see, I believe what I have to do next is the select tool, new put a new layer in, and then what was it? No, oh, gradient. 
Okay, we're gonna set this as the reference. Oh, not this. We're gonna set this as the reference layer. Let's see if this works. Ha! Oh no! Oopsie! Ah. Uh, we're gonna set this as the reference layer. Fill in close. Oh, I didn't have the right color, Lamau. Okay, hold on. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's a reference layer. This is the other layer. Uh, that's gonna go underneath the other layer, and we're gonna put this as a... No, not the deep tone. Standard color set, please. Uh, just a nice dark-ish gray. We're gonna go to enclose and fill. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, bingo. There we go. Exactly what we wanted. Thank goodness. Yeah, we're not going to use this as a reference layer for long, but essentially um, this is going to be how we quote-unquote um, color. Um, it's 420 already. Yikes, a Rooney. So essentially what we're going to be doing is using um, this reference layer, what's called, using this layer, or using, what am I saying? Uh, we're using like the sketch layer as a way to, um, so as a way to actually okay uh, sorry I thought there was a bit here that I thought was um, that was like not colored Appa apparently it was because it was part of like the sketch thing Ugh, that's wild I don't know how I feel about that <laughs> and at this point um, at this point you might want to take your sketch um, make it a little lighter and then just use it as a way to uh, use it as a way to like um, more refine the shapes 
uh, refine like the shapes and edges of the, um, the thing you're trying to draw essentially. Gonna be all smooth, but that's not the point. Oh, it's a called. It's the effect that you're going for, and if you want it to be like rough outline, um, I'd use a different brush other than a G pen brush. I think I just want to go through that fully. Uh, what's it called? A fully uh, a lineless uh, artwork. So I'm just. Trying to unroughen the edges here. So essentially, do this. Um, I think we're going to continue, like, eh, might as well, I like it enough that we'll probably just use this as the right sketch. But um, we'll go ahead and continue this next time because it is already 4.30, or like 5 to 4. No, it is already 4.25, and I want to be able to stop. <laughs> but for now, um, again, so... Like I said, I think the things that we've gone over are just like the importance of having a like set idea if you're like you know if you're doing like a full project thing that's like fully finished illustration, um, have like your ideas in one place that you can uh, very obviously see obviously see them, um, and have a how oh, it's called have those references at hand. Um, keep in mind of proportion as um for, like just mentally if something is out of proportion when you look at it in terms of your draw if you don't know that it's out of proportion it's just gonna feel weird especially for these super deformed characters if their heads are way too big for their tiny tiny arms even though it's kind of the style you'll you'll f like feel it before you'll understand that's what's wrong in terms of like proportions and stuff and of course this the quick lineless preview thing i'll see if i can f make like a pdf version of that and of that lineless guide art and then just post it into the um, manga drawing lessons archive um our well, google drive that sort of thing and we'll see what we can do but for now um we're going to go ahead and say goodbye. All right. For now, we're just going to call that a day. This has been the Mega Drawing Lessons Weekly, and I have been your host, Alo Jasa, a, the, young, uh, the YA librarian of the Govins branch of the Enoch Craft Free Library in beautiful Baltimore, Maryland.
Um, we're going to continue this next week. I hope it's going to keep being awesome, um, because I really want to see how this is quite literally and figuratively fleshed out in this style that I want it to, I want it to be. This is going to be fun, and like a fun preview of something I'll hopefully like continue until like um, like the full project is realized, and I have like 30 or so of these little chibi drawings um, posted everywhere online. Uh, everywhere online. But for now, thank you for joining me. Um, we'll see you next week, same time, same place, and hopefully we'll be in the auditorium so we have a little bit more room, literally. Um, you can't see it because there's no camera on the ending screen, but I'm spreading my arms a little bit. I'm already hitting the cubicle wall <laughs> that's on the left side of me, and my boss's desk is like a bit too close in terms of like all the stuff here. Uh, anyway, thanks for joining us, guys. We'll see you later.